hi don't forget to hit the notification bell to like the video and also to leave the comment down below there also share with your friends and your family too mine is to say sorry for those who uh, had the breakup for those who have been dumped by their wives their girlfriends this is something that is common especially to the our new lifestyle that we, we are living nowadays marriage is not valued by most of new generation that we are in and it's very sad because i don't know where we are heading this is not a good sign especially to african culture and it's not good to people get into marriage with their different agendas but don't love someone because of money or because she's beautiful or is handsome love him for who he is and his character if his character is her or his character is good then it's okay and above all marry of god fiera and prayer or your also because this matters a lot this is how you can build the foundation of your family in your marriage life now the story that i'm going to put in front of you that i want to share with you is, is it's a story of kenyan gospel singer daddy owen if the story is true then it's a uh, sad lesson to learn from daddy owen never date a man don't never date or marry a woman with a baby unless you find out the exactly reason she was dumped most don't open up which is true never marry a woman who has just divorced husband there is more hidden than you think i do agree with that never date or marry a woman from a family family richer than you and because she will never respect you not even the girl even the man not even this is applicable to everyone the counterpart the counterpart show shown you family <laughs> shown your family is reason enough abandon the mission once a woman kicks you out of a house and this is also applicable not only a woman but also a man if you are a woman and you are married by a man as a guy or a, or a man and he kicks you out never get back to her to, to that person again and owen was kicked out several not once several times and he keeps sticking to that woman that was also a mistake if she, if it's true that he did that anyway but i can't judge only god can judge your fame will your fame can end within a time within no time and if she loves you because of fame then i think that will be the end of that marriage or that relationship a desire a desirability will end which is true that a woman who will plug into you into your value not your stand on continuously build your value be innovative to the time listen to your father especially listen to your parents but nowadays this generation this new generation they don't want to listen to the elder ones they don't want to listen to their parents they want to make their own decision and go for it without listen to the people who are older than them 
even if he is an idiot listen to him or her because he has seen the sun before he came on this planet he know many he know so much than you if he is uncomfortable with the woman or a family abandon the mission immediately never marry a woman highly educated than you frida wamboy is a pharmacist unless you go back to class and upgrade your academy academically then that is okay love yourself more you deserve better have abundant mindset there are so many beautiful submissive girls <coughs> out there and also submissive men this is also applicable to all of us never marry because she's beautiful or handsome marry a or e because of a deep spirituality because like i, I have said before uh, you know on the starting of this conversation of this uh, talk is that uh, spiritual is the foundation of every family because without spiritual there is no family there because that is the one that is going to bring the strongness and firmness of the family beauty fades and some fades proverbs chapter 31 verse 30 so if you marry her or he for is beautiful or handsome my friend you made a wrong choice favor is deceived now proverbs chapter 31 verse 30 says favor is deceitful and beauty is vain but a woman that feared the lord she shall be praised marry vecho woman proverbs that one verse 26 she opened a mouth with wisdom and in a tongue is the law of kindness now what are you looking at you have been advised through the proverbs so i don't have much much to say just till next time bye